Well, I'll come back and talk about this and a little bit of this too. I don't know if you want to call this a review, but um, let's go ahead and talk about this knife. This is actually a follow-up review. <laughs> I said it's not a review, but now I call it a review of a 2017 video I did of I was out in the woods in Yun Yun Goon where I live and I went to make a video on this. However, I didn't have my tripod with me. So I'm holding this camera like this, try to film it one hand and all, and I really couldn't get into what I wanted to talk about. So now though, it's different. Obviously I have a tripod because uh, that's what's holding this camera up. And I've got his brother. The original one got lost. So I had to go and order a new one. Now this is the first time I've taken it out today. You can see where it's got marked up a little bit, right? That was chopping that tree branch behind me and working on some other stuff like this. And so let's go ahead and talk about this. This knife, if you go to Amazon, will cost you about $66 and it'll come in a nylon sheath. However, I recommend that you try to go find it elsewhere. Um, it's from Ontario Knife Company, OKC, from Ontario, California, not Canada, made in USA. Now I made a mistake when I reordered this. I had to go find, I got mine from eBay. It was like 66 bucks on eBay. And what was really cool was it had the micarta. This is what I like, or not micarta, the, um, whatever you call this, I'll think about it later. This sheath here, the plastic, I'm sorry, I can't remember where it now. I'll put it down below when I remember what it is because I really love the idea of having this pressure type. See here, I can just put it back. It's not going anywhere, awesome. And you got all these holes here so you can customize how you want to tie it down to you, whatever you want to do, or screw it in. And along with that, something really cool. This came with a blade lock. Now, when you originally get this, or I'm sorry, when I originally got mine in 2015, it had a clip here that you could clip on to your belt or whatever. I had to pay extra for this. But for this time, for the same price that Amazon wants nylon, I'm getting this and this, all made in the USA which is really nice. And what's really cool about the blade lock is, see, you got these screws here, okay? So what you do is you can unscrew it and you can put the regular clip on here if you want, because it's quicker and easier to use. But if you want that customization and stuff, you get, just put, uh, get the blade lock, see these screws, and basically just put it wherever you can position it at. And this can work with different um, knives and stuff too that have a similar Kydex, by the way, this is a Kydex sheath. Now I remember, you can put this with any other Kydex sheath that was compatible with this, not just this one. But it's also really cool. Now you see here, I got these two little bars. Okay, one, two. What is this? I'm gonna try to do this without dropping these, yeah, just like that. I can place this here, 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 here. So when you put it on your belt, like this is where I like to put it at. I have a like 1.75 inch duty belt on right now nylon like one of those military style belts actually mine is a mil uh, former military belt i'm using right now um you can adjust up and down however you want to make it fit and if you don't want it at all just take them off but personally i like to keep it right up here and i should also mention you see this this will fit through pal's webbing it's a little difficult okay i mean you're gonna have to play with this a little bit in fact let me uh see what i can do here for you hold on it's gonna look real, kind of gonna look sloppy if I get this on here, but it'll serve its purpose. There we go. So, depending on what pack you got or so, you could put this on some pals web and voila. Make your, you know, especially something like this, man. It just looks really cool having a knife hanging from something like this. It looks so bushcrafty and all kinds of cool stuff. You can do that. Oops. And you can also, knock your water over, which is not good. Excuse me. Yeah, so I said I made a mistake, and let me talk about that. So the original one I had had a black blade, but when I was on um, eBay looking, I'm like, dude, what color was my blade? Because I'm seeing like this OD green, I'm seeing all kinds of colors, and I was like, well, I guess it was OD green, I'll get that. And then I got it, and I'm like, that doesn't look right. Let me look at my old video again. I was like, oh, it was black. Oh well, it works the same. Now something really cool about this, here's another thing too. 
um, and this is really good to have the knife is, you know, it cuts really good. If you're a person, you know, it's a very sturdy blade, very good for, um, I want to say making feather sticks, right? If you're really skilled at making those nice, lovely little feather sticks that you'll see in videos so much. In fact, not me. I'm not a great expert at it, but there's quite a few guys who are, and I can link you a video either down below or I'll put a card up here so you can watch that stuff makes really good also a small knife like this and see how I can put my finger right there and I put my thumb right here makes carving really easy really easy thing in there it's one of the reasons I like this and like I said I like the feel I like the sheath it makes a great package all together you've got here so with this little uh, ridges right here you can also shave, make some shavings if you want with whatever you're doing. See right here, got some shavings going on. That's really nice, right? Of course, when everything's wet, you just get a bunch of muck in there. Clean that up later. Um, the steel now, oh, by the way, Ontario Knife USA. I think, if I remember Craig, it's 1095 carbon steel, which with 1095, you gotta realize, it is a carbon steel, which is very strong, but it's also prone to weather. So you want to keep a coating on here, okay? If you if this had no coating on here, it would rust. But at the same time, 1095 carbon steel is supposed to be really good for making ferrocene rods, or um, not ferrocene rods, for using for like taking your flint uh, ferrocene rod and making sparks. In fact, let's check that out right now. Do, 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 do. See. You take the tier tactical pouch here, right? Got this a couple years ago. Got it for my wife to use with her pack. She used it for a while. And then, so I decided, you know what? I'm gonna put it to use. So, the tier tactical pouch. I got a fire starting kit here. Knees bit stove, which I probably won't use today. Actually, German army compass right here. It's amazing how so much of my stuff's all German. In fact, oh, and lots of cordage. In fact, you know, if it wasn't for this, this would actually be a surplus adventure because army surplus, Russian army, and uh, kit mat, you know, yeah, it's basically all uh, surplus of sorts. Man, I love this. I love this. I really like using this. I love this gear. The only disadvantage, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going on a tangent. The only disadvantage about this Miltech, it's kind of short. Like, it's really great for a day like this, but if you're going to plan on going hiking and spending overnight, like an overnight trip, uh, use the Basha tent, or the Basha shelter that I showed in my last video when I was covering this one. Yeah, you want to use that. All right, so anyway, because it's that's a 6x8, this is like barely, what, 5x7, barely. All right, so anyway, let's get back to the point. So, you take this. Take the ferrocium rod. You take the knife. In fact, let's clean all this mud off, right? Okay, good. So what you do is keep this forward. You can put it probably either here. This will definitely work, or you can put it on the spine, and that's the important part. You want to have a ridge spine. Yeah. Just so this is the first time this knife has done that. Beautiful, right? Now if we use the spine. Beautiful. So, I really enjoy this stuff. It's not the only... But anyway, uh, that's all I really have to say about this follow-up. I really highly recommend that you check this out. Oh, and I should mention, is one of the cool things about this knife now, depending on what part of the world you're in, this is good too. This is a 3.75 inch blade, okay? Now, in countries that have restrictive laws, this is to your benefit. You know, I told you this is $66. And at $66, from America in particular, you're like, dude, that's expensive. You can go buy any number of knives for half the price and they'll probably work just well, especially if it's made in China. You can obviously get um, a cheaper knife. But when you look at quality you get a cord you get this you get this 
And again, depending on what country you're from, if the laws are very restrictive, this can work in your favor. Because it might be one of the few legal items you can get with little or no licenses and headaches and stuff, right? So that makes it a choice right there. So, that is enough about this. Myself, I'm just uh, going to come here, play a little Nintendo for a little bit, and relax under nature. And so, uh, thank you for watching this. I hope you found this entertaining. I hope you found this information useful. If you have questions, please do like, share, comment below. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, later.